Hey, good evening. It's uh, Saturday, April 4th. It's the end of the week. And it's been kind of a tumultuous time. And we're still being told to stay home, not go out. The danger is around us, real. It's unsettling. Things seem to be fine just a few weeks ago, and now they appear not to be. But you see, in God's providence, in his hand, they are exactly as he wants, so we can take comfort in that. One of the really cool things about the Bible is that it anticipates in all of its stories and the beautiful story that the Holy Spirit has woven for us. It covers everything in terms of our relational, our emotional state, if you will. It's covered by the providence of God. See, tomorrow we celebrate Palm Sunday. And on that day, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, but he still rode in amidst two cheers, children praising his name as Psalm 8 had predicted. The apostles were encouraged. Jesus was being acknowledged as a king. And they were excited. And they're thinking, now maybe these three years are finally going to make sense. And the week goes on, and then there's that fateful Thursday night where Jesus recounts to them the promises of the covenant, promises that he'll be with them, has that meal together with them, and then in the space of just a few hours, they go from things are going to be okay to Jesus being crucified. So from Sunday to Thursday night to Friday, you talk about a turnaround. You talk about things crashing down. Talk about being lost. Even though Jesus had predicted all these things and told them about it, when the reality hit, those who were closest to him were devastated. And then, of course, in a couple of days from there, after the crucifixion, Jesus comes back to life. But tonight, let's just focus on that Sunday to that Friday night when everything looks lost. See, this relates to where we are. We don't know what's going to happen. Well, think about the apostles and the disciples, the group that were close, maybe 120 or so, who were devastated. That's what I want you to think about tonight. God was in control then, and he turned things around in a powerful way. And now as we are in a time of uncertainty, we're in a time of hope because God has promised he'll be with us. He has promised he will bring things together and resolve them according to his plan, according to his word, according to his honor. So we don't need to look at the circumstances, however dire they may be. Even if we run headlong into sickness, our God is there with us. And on that dark Friday, there was hope. Right now, there's hope for you and me. And it's about the purpose of Jesus Christ. He's going to make sure that it works. He's going to honor his word. We can have peace this night and bring the certainty of the joy of the gospel to our friends, to our families that are close to us, and to people that we don't even know, because we have hope. In the middle of what everything else looks to be very dark, the light of Jesus Christ is steady and sure. So the Bible knows about people going from highs to lows. And God has been there, and he promises us his joy will be complete. Don't look to the things of this earth. Look to the beauty of Christ because Easter is coming.
Lord bless you this night. Prepare your heart for thinking about your Lord tomorrow. Listen to your church online. Be encouraged with what God has for you. Lord bless this night. Good night.